Hey, Cher Pedro. Yeah, surprisingly, we're not getting as much snow as we thought we were going to get. But I will say it's a really a testament to how things can uh, change so quickly because this afternoon when we arrived, we have some uh, blue skies and clouds out here. Those clouds more so rolled in later on through the afternoon. It definitely feels like it's gotten colder, windier, and forecasters say what, that we're supposed to be bearing the brunt of the storm right now through about 6 o'clock. We wanted to do something different because I checked the restaurants and everything's booked and really hard to reserve. I didn't want to look anymore, so I said, let's just go to snow. Couples like Brandon Burgos and Mari Raya opting for a different type of Valentine's Day this year. We came here to relax and have fun and drink. And they weren't the only ones. It's actually my first time snowboarding and I'm not going to lie, I fell at least 100 times up there, but ultimately mm -hmm. it was a really fun experience. It's a perfect Tuesday afternoon, sun shining, and people beating the crowds at Mountain High Resort in Wrightwood. But those sunny skies aren't lasting long. It's been closer to spring conditions, but with this cold front coming in, we do expect to make some snow. A bitter cold front is moving through our local mountain communities, bringing with it fresh snow, something visitors will enjoy on the busy President's Day weekend ahead. So the storm is coming uh, down directly from the north, so it's a cold storm. Probably the coldest one we've seen all year. Parts of the Inland Empire like Riverside, Fontana and Corona expected to reach freezing temperatures starting at midnight. Alex Tardy with the National Weather Service says it'll be fast, but we'll pack a punch in a span of about two hours. In areas like Wrightwood, Lake Arrowhead and Big Bear, which are expected to receive about two inches of snow. Most areas are going to see 50 to 60 miles per hour. With the potential to blow over trees and power lines, many who are in the mountains now say they'll make sure to get out before the storm rolls in, avoiding dangerous road conditions that could spoil their V-Day fun. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day to all and have fun. <laughs> And as you heard, they will be creating some snow here at Mountain High. These are the perfect conditions to do just that. In the meantime, a high wind warning is in effect until 10 o'clock tonight for certain areas, including the San Bernardino County Mountains. Reporting live in Wrightwood, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you. Don't forget you can track the weather in your neighborhood in real time with our interactive radar. Just go to our website, ktla.com, and click on the weather tab.